Today we're going to be doing a gummy bear implant. A gummy bear implant is a more cohesive implant. So if you cut it in half, you'll see two pieces. There's no leakage anywhere. So the first thing we're going to do is mark midline. So I feel for what's called sternal notch. And we're going to go all the way down. Second step is we'll mark the mid breast line on both sides. The third step is we're going to mark your existing anatomy. So it's right there. And we're going to mark the new nipple. So I picked an implant with a height, width, projection, and volume that helps meet her needs. Now her goal was to be bigger, fuller, perkier. The patient didn't want to lift. When you look at her before pictures, what we see is she has some ptosis or sagging. Specifically, her breast glandular tissue has gone below the fold. So by putting in an implant that has the right proportions and dimensions and the volume she wants, what you can do is you can often mask that ptosis and give her more shape and more projection. So that's what we're gonna do. Now we're gonna put numbing fluid in with antibiotic and it has something to stop bleeding. This helps decrease a lot of pain post-operatively. A lot of my patients, after breast augmentation on, they do have pain like many people, but not as much as what you're, what you're used to off and the pain is quite tolerable because we put numbing medicine and we block the nerves the best we can. We're getting the fold of the breast first here. Off. And now we're gonna go through the skin, subcutaneous tissue, breast tissue, fascia, to get to the pectoralis major muscle. And we're gonna go underneath the muscle with our numbing fluid. We're going to make a myotomy or opening in the muscle. So we had a little blood vessel that was bleeding that we've stopped on. This is very normal in this surgery. We're going to release medially now here with the dissector and make cleavage. This is the pocket. The pectoralis major muscle is above us on. So your approach today is going to be through the fold, under the muscle. I think under the muscle implants work the best because they have the most support, they have lower complications long term, and they'll give her a better shape. Okay, so how today's gonna work is I'm gonna help you get undressed from our most of the dressings, get some quick photos, and I'll go show Dr. Sajan. Okay. I'll come back and I'll do your post op instructions, okay? okay? We'll go nice and slow. Okay. Just, ugh, is it, are the scars big? Oh, no, oh. they're right in the fold, they look oh my good. Gosh. <laughs> A little bit, but. Wow. Yeah, looks good. They look so even. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they do. Looks good, yeah. 